brothers and sisters, what's going on, guys? All right, this is a subject I've never done. I was sent an inbox and by a brother and asked a special request on this. So we're going to talk on this subject real quick. Um, talking the ancient practices of sex, oral sex, um, as well as uh, sex with the organs. We're not talking about anal sex. We're not going into that because our ancestors didn't do, didn't go into that stuff. Um, sex is a life force. That's number one. Sex is a life force. This is something that uh, it is an ancient act that gives us men and women, brothers and sisters, long life. Um, it has been studies all over the all over the the uh, world, and so many years of studies that talk about how um, the more sex you have, the more you increase your life, the longer you live. All right, so sex is a life force. All right. It's a powerful life force, and this is something that should not be um, taken lightly. You know, like the porn pornography industry that these sexes have taken over, and you got all kind of people just having all kind of whatever sex, and multiple men on one woman, and multiple women on one man, and you know, we as the in the ancient world. Um, it was one man and one woman and the sexual activity was designed to raise the kundalini energy all right this was a thing of raising the kundalini energy bringing us into a higher state of um spirituality um it was that connection um if you remember those of you who are older you probably remember the cartoon the justice league um that cartoon back in the 70s and the 80s where you had the wonder twins and it's like you know, wonder twins was a male and a female and they said wonder twins activate and then they put their fists together all right that that fist going together represent the connection between the male and the female therefore they were able to transform their bodies into anything that, they, that was necessary. And this is where we come into the ancient sexual tradition. And this is, that was um, uh, an example in the cartoon industry talking about, you know, that, that talked about sex. The, you know, wonder twins, wonder twins activate in the form of, of water, in the form of fire, you know. We were able to tap into the forces using the sexual activity, um, and that was meditation. The brothers and sisters in the ancient days would meditate before they um, went into this powerful um, area of uh, spirituality. Also, when you talked about uh, when you're talking about oral sex, you're talking about you know, the mouth on the genitals. And you got the mouth on the genitals when the woman goes on to the man and the man goes on to the woman. You know, your saliva is a is isn't um it's not an excrement. It is um it is an energy. Yes, the saliva can actually clean. It's a cleansing energy. Um and it is a energy that is designed to um uh, the saliva breaks down food before you know when you when you when you eat your saliva is the first is the first um uh enzyme it's an enzyme there you go the saliva is the first enzyme in your body that breaks down food before it gets to your stomach all right your tongue is an organ all right, your tongue is connected to your stomach. Your tongue goes all the way down to the stomach. That's, that's how that's how long your tongue is, you know. Um, so that saliva 
when you hit that organ, whether it be the vagina or the penis, that saliva, when it hits the organ, it, um, this is the sharing of the energies between the two. And it's a sacred, it's a sacred act between, that, that was between the two of us. Now, what happens is when you talk about that climax at the point of, you know, you, you're, you're, what they call it fellatio, whether it be vaginal or sex or penal or sex or sex with the penis or, or the sex with the, vi- with the vagina, um, you were, when just at that point of climax, that's when that Kundalini energy begins to rise. All right, you got that Kundalini energy, and it's like you're, oh, 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 oh. and you're, that energy is rising up in you, and this is when you get to that point of that that pure spiritual consciousness. That when you into when you into that's why you say when um, the, the the they say the the men say you know I went to heaven, you know because you know I was with that woman and in heaven it's that woman that woman brought bride you know I I went to heaven. You know, woman well, said the same thing. I went to heaven because it's like you got into that heavenly area, that that powerful energy that that literally goes into just wonderful area of spirituality. All right. So you know, when I look at these brothers, you know, talking about semen retention, and I'm wondering, you know, I'm semen retention, and I can be more become more powerful. Sex is a life force. All right. It's a beautiful thing between. A man and a woman who have made a union between each other and they are linking into that spiritual energy, that spiritual force. You know, um, you have to be careful with sex because sex is spiritual. You know, when you have someone messing around with multiple men or have someone messing around with multiple women, you're literally um, transferring energies different energies to to these different people and it's it's, it's it's more so a sport and not for spirituality so um i hope this and this this answers the brother's question because he asked about you know you know he was saying in this uh inbox about how he and his he and his um uh, girlfriend um have not had any did anything together but they're together but he was just asking questions about you know the oral sex and how it works and and yes this is this that oral sex is a part of that kundalini energy you know they get the saliva which is a part of your life force going into somebody else's body and it's a bonding all right it's a bonding thing you know of course the ministers in the churches they're gonna say oh you know you can't do this you can't do that this is evil you know anything that has to do with real true spirituality they're gonna call evil all right just remember that they're going to call this evil. You know, right? So it's important, brothers and sisters, that you understand the power of sexuality. All right. When you talk about the power of sexuality. So you go into the state of meditation and you become and, and, and you and that sister began to um, gravitate with each other. And you begin to tap into those energies and those abilities, you know. You begin to go into those different forces within you. You begin, that's when you begin to find yourself in a whole nother realm of energy. All right. And just like we said, sex is spiritual. This is something that um, our ancestors took um, seriously. And there was no multiple partners there were no multiple wives like they have in that book called the Bible, right? That book called the Bible was a, it's really got, a, got people fucked up. Talking about, oh, he had these many wives. No, 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 no. Our ancestors, you had one wife and one husband. And you had many children <laughs> from that one wife and the one husband. But sex was a spiritual a way of spirituality so that you can tap into that energy so that you can become, it, it was like a, a energy of transformation. They would say sex is a life force. It's a part of you. And yes, you have long life. You have these, um, you have, there are couples that are in, you know, up in age and 
you know, they still look young and vibrant. And what are they doing? They're still having sex because it's spiritual. You, 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 you're adding on to life. Um, it's got healing properties. You know, you, when you, when a man, uh, also, also when a man, um, does oral sex on a woman, it, it does a lot for a woman, you know, you know, it makes your breasts fuller, um, takes away wrinkles in your face, causes your skin to not wrinkle anymore. I mean, it's, 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 it's spiritual. So whatever happens in the spirit shows up in the physical. So you got two spirit beings. You got a male and a female coming together, joining together as one, the masculine and the feminine energy. And therefore, that transformation begins. All right. That transformation begins. And this is when the sunlight and the moonlight. Yeah, all right. Sunlight is the masculine energy. Moonlight is the feminine energy. And in the sunlight, you know, that masculine energy comes down and the moonlight comes comes around. There's growth in the moonlight. So, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So just want to share that with you all. The, the, the power of spiritual sex. All right. So, yes, um, it's important to have one partner. All right. And not multiple. You can't have multiple wives. I don't care what anyone says, brothers and sisters. Our ancestors didn't practice that bullshit. They put in that fucked up Bible about you have multiple wives and I got a wife over here and a wife over there and a, and and this wife here. And, you know, no, 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 no. You have one wife, one husband. All right, because you knew that sex is energy. All right, so you share that energy between just you two only, the two of you only. When you're going outside of just two, you begin to tap into other people's energies. All right, get away from pornography. That's dirty energy. That is dirty. That's just like the the fucking energy that we get from the from the power lines. That's dirty energy. All right, there are. Uh, very strong virus programs and pornography. So stay away from that because these virus programs affect your program. All right. So when you get into that state and your brothers, you get into that Kundalini energy, your sister, you get into that Kundalini energy and you feel that powerful force. And after you have both climaxed, you go into the state of meditation and you're going to feel this transformation, this, this transforming energy come about you. And you will be in a more enlightened place of energy and power. All right. Just like we said, the, the, the Wonder Twins. Wonder Twins activate. That was that connection between the male and the female, that masculine and feminine connection. All right. Between the male and the female. And therefore, you have that transformation energy, that powerful energy, that no one can break. There's a bond that is that's, that's unbreakable. All right. So you know it's it's so powerful that when one mate is in trouble, the other mate can feel it and can start going into this vibrational meditation to help the other mate. I mean, this is this is this is how powerful it is. So, um, just want to share that with you all. And I hope, brother, I hope this was um very informative for you. All right. So yes, the, the spiritual, the spiritual aspects of, 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 of the sexual, uh, of sexuality tapping into that energy within you. All right. You going inside of this woman and this woman allowing you to go inside of her, you sharing each other's energies, your spirits coming together as one. All right. Your spirits coming together as one. All right. The oral sex plays a powerful role. Like we said, it's very, it's, it's extremely powerful. All right. The man, the men tap into that Kundalini energy. When you feel that, when you feel that, that, that horniness, like, okay, I, I gotta have my woman. I gotta have her right now. It's like you. It's like that cool, that force, that that life force, that Kundalini needs that life. And it's like you, you know, once you make that connection, be like, yes, this is what I wanted. This is just what I needed. And you needed to make that connection so that 
kundalini energy can begin to form and rise. It takes you to a whole nother level of spirituality. All right. Sex is a life force. So all these brothers out here talking about semen retention, all these sisters talking about, you know, I'm, I'm being abstinence. Find yourself a partner. All right. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> because it will do you a world of good. All right. Sex is a life force. And it's very important for all of us. And this is one thing our ancestors in the past practice. And that's how they had so many children. They didn't mind the children. They know this is the result. Now, you had some sisters who knew how to abort children or how to um, not, um, how to destroy an egg. All right. Because they were so spiritual. They was like, OK, I don't want to have any babies. I just need this spiritual, um, in, this, this, this spiritual inclination. I need this. I need to I need to be in, to, in this spirit mode. And there were sisters who knew how to destroy eggs. And as soon as they finish, it's like they be out there becoming on their period because they were so in tune to themselves. They they were in tune to their bodies and they could make that egg just, you know, that was fertilized be unfertilized. <laughs> then they, you know, auto, automatically they began on a cycle. All right. So this is the powerful energies, brothers and sisters. All right. So just share that with you guys. All right. Um, I hope this is helpful for you. Like I said, this is a subject I never really tapped on, touched into, but I knew, I know the information on it. All right. And it's, it's something that's wonderful. That's wonderful for us all, especially as brothers and sisters. But remember, our ancestors, just like myself, I have one wife. My, I mean, my wife has one husband. I don't have anybody outside of her. She don't have any, anybody outside of me. It's just the two of us. Masculine and feminine energy. All right. It's just the two of us. All right. And that's what helps that transformation. All right, brothers and sisters. I'll catch you guys later. Let's make this thing happen. Much power to you all.